Are we talking about getting enough information or how we get the information, the form that it comes in? One of the things that I find intriguing, and I'll talk about this a little bit more in a moment, is that in today's world with Sarbanes-Oxley, I find the management feels a moral imperative to give you everything they have. I don't know how many of you serve on boards and have that same feeling, but there are occasions when I get hundreds and hundreds of pages, and I'm like, and we're supposed to read this in three days before the audit committee meeting. So it's certainly challenging. The second difference in terms of information is the wide range of investors, everything from institutional investors to the individual investor. And I was amused about two days ago when I saw a commercial on TV, and I won't mention the company. They were suggesting that the individual investor do their own investing and that they would have all the information available to the institutional investors by going online. I'm not sure that I would agree with that, but it's an interesting construct, and I think it sets the tone for how individual investors see themselves and what they need. Now, there's some reasons that we're either getting the right information or not getting the right information. I want to just briefly go over those. First of all, whether we like it or not, management and the board at the end of the day decides what information the public gets. That's not to say that they're doing it in any kind of surreptitious fashion or they're trying to be misleading. In fact, it's been my experience that boards and management agonize over making sure that they provide accurate information to the public. And it's a good faith effort. However, because we have human beings involved, they, in fact, do make decisions about what information we get. And they can't include everything. So I think one of the challenges is to make sure that management knows what the public wants. 